What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So I was just messing with the challenger. I know you guys are dying to see some of that content, but we are getting to it. I promise you. I am just on some shipment delays and I'm waiting for parts to arrive. This has probably been the worst part about COVID is shipment prices and the amount of time it takes now. So anyways, I was just talking to my friend, Jose, Street Chair Performance. He's got the orange or the Go Mango Dodge Ram Daytona. And he just told me he's getting rid of his old wheels. So looking back at the Daytona's build progress, we've done the interior. We've done a lot of work on the outside. We've replaced all the lights. We've done some tinting, some roof wrap. Uh, and we even lowered it. Um, and this is just to get you guys up to speed. So we lowered it with the DJM 3.5 drop, which is the front lower control arm and the rear flip kit. We put the Beltec uh, street shocks in there and we kept the stock wheels and tires, right? And it kind of doesn't match. So moving forward, he hit me up. He's like, hey man, I'm selling my wheels. He's giving me a really good price. So you know what that means. We're gonna do a little road trip. So in the morning, in a few hours, that's how I need to get to bed. We're gonna wake up at 3.45. You know, Ashley and I are gonna load up the dogs and we're gonna go all the way to Almedo, Texas. So it is a five hour one way trip. So I don't wanna spend all day on the road. I still want a little bit of my uh, Sunday to enjoy. So we're gonna get up early in the morning, head down there, grab the wheels and come right back and mount them up. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. <laughs> Just like the title states, gonna get some new wheels for the uh, Daytona. Uh, so we drove all the way to South Texas to meet up with uh, one of my buddies. You guys might have seen him in my truck shootout video. His name is Jose, AKA Joker, AKA Street Chair Performance on YouTube. Uh, he got himself a set of OEM Viper wheels, uh, Viper truck wheels. So he hit me up and he was like, hey man, do you want my uh, Viper reps? Shot me an offer and uh, I couldn't refuse it. So we drove all the way down here and uh, we're gonna pick him up. So he uh, hit me up, had a set of the uh, 22 Viper reps and Chrome and uh, some tires for him. So I was like, yeah, I can't resist. We gotta come down here, we gotta pick him up. I'm uh, gonna clean him up a little bit and then I uh, will throw him onto the truck. So let's take a look at his truck real quick so you guys can see the, uh, uh, one of the differences between the reps and the OEM ones is these are a little more concave. As you can see, they dip in. And where'd you get these from? I bought them from uh, some guy, what, like 30, 40 minutes from here. Yeah, and you traded him a Daytona hood, right? Yeah, for it. Yeah, because I had an, well, I had an extra one, so that's the one I, I traded. Yeah. So, I mean, that was a good trade, dude. Good come up. Yeah. Gotta clean him up a little bit, but he's getting there. Spider-Man hitting something, it says when your freaking lug nut gets stuck in the socket. never driven like all the way to California and apparently all the way down South Texas they got these inspection points where they ask you if you're an American citizen it's pretty interesting yeah.
U.S. citizen. See? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So we haven't eaten anything all day. All day. Now, when I first met Ashley, she taught me about getting a Whopper with cheese only, right? So it's a Whopper with nothing, just the meat, the cheese, and the bread. And the first time I ordered this for her, I was like, wow, that's really weird. So we both agree that the best way to eat a Whopper, if you absolutely have to eat a Whopper, this is the only thing in like the next two hours each direction is cheese only with some fries. It smacks. It smacks, big time. guys it is still the same day yes we woke up at 3 45 a.m me and ashley rode out to jose's house picked up his wheels and did a turn and burn and uh we got back and me and my dad we took the uh the uh the new viper reps not new new to me and uh we cleaned them up on the back side on the front side and got them mounted up and the truck looks 10 times better i've mentioned this a couple times the other wheels covered up the uh, brake calipers and the uh drilled and solid rotors and now it looks a1 a1 it looks great real clutch let me show you guys all right guys here's the truck the daytona and all its glory with the new new to me uh viper reps that jose sold to me as you can see you can even see the reflection of the caliper in them looks real nice you can see the brakes nice and reflective uh, the tires that he gave me are a little used but they'll get the job done for now so I can get some uh, different tires on there, maybe some BFGs. But from the back side, it looks real good as well. Give you guys another little walk around. This is my favorite side of the truck because of the dual exhaust tips. So the only thing chrome on the truck right now is the antenna, the wheels, and the exhaust tips. And I know I said I didn't want to do chrome, but now it just looks, I think it set it off. Like I fell in love with the chrome. All right, so. Just another quick rundown before I finish and wrap up this video. The wheels are uh, 22 by nine. I originally, uh, originally wanted to do 22 by 10, but the wheels that Jose had were 22 by nine and they're wrapped in 305, 40, 22. It's a good tire size. Uh, doesn't really interfere with anything. Turn radius is great. Um, the other tires had a much bigger sidewall, so it kind of filled up the gap between the fender uh, and the wheel and tire, but the tires are so big that if I hit a really big bump, they would hit the fender liners. Um, so these with a smaller sidewall, even though it is a bigger wheel, it doesn't interfere now. So really happy with that. I was tired of hitting bumps and hearing all that scraping. It was freaking wild. Again, you shout out to Jose, Street Chair Performance, for calling me up saying, hey, I'm gonna throw these on the marketplace. Like, do you want them? And I was like, yeah, he gave me the, you know, the bro price. So I was like, all right, man, let's do it. I'll, I'll be there the next morning and uh, got it done. Again, you shout out to Jose, Street Chair Performance, for calling me up saying, hey, I'm gonna throw these on the marketplace, like, do you want them? And I was like, yeah, he gave me the, you know, the bro price. So I was like, all right, man, let's do it. I'll, I'll be there the next morning and uh, got it done. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, you know, make sure to let me know, leave a comment below. If you got an idea of something like that might look good on the truck, you know, let me know, I might try it. You know, you never know. Uh, but that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for coming on this adventure with me and Ashley. 10 hour round trip all together. So you guys know what to do. If you like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time guys, peace out.